now on Coast TV News. We're seeing a brief melting trend with temperatures creeping above the freezing mark. Some plain rain across Delaware, freezing rain farther north and west. Then we take the Arctic plunge later today into tonight and tomorrow. I'll tell you how cold it gets coming up. Road prep pays off. Ahead of Monday snowfall, crews in Delaware and Maryland did their part to listen, lessen the impact of icy conditions. Trump takes Iowa, the historic win by the former president and the Republican candidate who decided to call it quits. Still working through this secondary and a touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Eagles collapse is complete. The blowout loss in the playoffs at Tampa Bay. This is Coast TV News Today. Well, here is the scene this Tuesday morning at Five Points. Uh, you know, some precipitation out there. Roads still look a little wet. This is where Route 9 intersects mm -hmm. with Coastal Highway. Got a little taste of real winter about 12 hours ago. Yeah. It is Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. Thanks for being up with us during our five o'clock hour. Yeah, I have to admit, it was nice seeing a little snow fall, white covering the ground and everything, yeah. you know, and uh, look at you 180. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> a 160, 170. Yeah. You're almost there. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it looked nice. It, it was, did. Yeah. It did. And uh, we just showed five, that five points intersection. Yeah. I drove through there on my way in. It definitely is a little slick, mm -hmm. but, you know, hopefully if the sun comes out, when the sun comes out, yeah. it'll clear up. Let's bring in Bob now. Bob, are we going to see the sun today? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit later on, but this morning the big story is a brief melting trend. Of course, we got that solid inch or so of snow last night, but temperatures overnight have crept above the 32 degree mark. And you can see that line right now through Seaford, north of Georgetown to the south and east of it. It's plain rain to the north and west. It is freezing rain from Herlock, eastern shore of Maryland, Seaford, back through Andersville, Milford and Allendale. And then south and east, just a cold rain, Laurel, back to Georgetown, Lewis, Long Neck, and Frankfurt, and we're seeing more of that rain back through Salisbury. So we've got rain, freezing rain, and then snow in the Arctic air off to the north and west. We still have more precipitation that's moving our way, but I think much of it is in the form of rain as we go through the day, but we still have a winter weather advisory, Kent County and surrounding counties in Maryland, because the roads are still treacherous, especially north of Highway 9 and farther to the west, where you're seeing temperatures at 32 or or below south and east as you go closer to the beach we're looking at warmer temperatures in fact lower 40s along the beaches and some of this warmer air is starting to pivot inland but still seeing those near freezing temperatures inland but i think everybody gets above the freezing mark by about seven as we're looking at a cold rain early this morning and then the wind start to howl from the northwest later on and temperatures plunge as we <laughs> see a blast of arctic air so your day part planner we're looking at the clouds and the rain and temperatures around 40 40, 11 a.m., but then falling abruptly into the afternoon. I'll have much more on this frigid air mass and your work week forecast coming up. Thank you so much. Well, the first snowfall of the year is exciting for many of us, but of course, it can make the roads very dangerous. That's why Del Dot started working way ahead of the snowfall to prepare for the pavement. Del Dot saying the purpose of putting brine down before salt is it gives the salt something to cling to. Despite there being salt and brine on the roads, it is important to always drive and walk with caution, especially when it's dark out like right now, and keep your distance from plow trucks if you see them on your roads. Yeah, and Maryland, the State Highway Administration, they are still on alert due to the storm. More of a precaution for travel today. On Monday, crews also pre-treated highways with salt brine to fight snow and ice. And if driving today, just be mindful of potential icy spots. This does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, how do you feel about the snowfall? We talked about that, yeah, Paige. Yeah, I love this. Okay, 62% of you say you love it. 38% of you hate it. I wonder how many would vote kind of in the middle, though. I think I'm, I'm leading love. I don't know if I'd use that term love, but I do. How about like? You like it. Like it. You're one of those people just right yeah. in the middle. That's fine. I, I like it if it doesn't have effects the next day. Good point. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll play in that. <laughs> There's our compromise. All right, if you haven't voted yet, you still can. Head to coasttv.com or our mobile app. We do have some breaking news for you now this morning. Donald Trump wins the Iowa caucus. The former president capturing the first state to vote in this election season. Now, Trump did make history there by claiming over 50% of the vote in the biggest win ever in the caucus. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis finished a distant second just ahead of former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. A very special night, and this is the first 
because the big night is going to be in November when we take back our country and truly we do make our country great again. Thank you very much, everybody. Great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And after a fourth place finish in Iowa, businessman Vivek Ramaswamy announced he is dropping out of the presidential race. Well, next year, Delaware will have a new governor. So far, it is a small field of candidates attempting to follow John Carney as the top executive in the state. We may get a clear picture of who that will be by the end of this summer. Days before Christmas, there were three candidates vying to become Delaware's next governor. Two Democrats who currently hold key positions in the state and the lone Republican, Jerry Price. The retired police officer has never held public office before and says his current concern about crime and drugs is what motivated him to make this effort. Because of the drugs on the street nowadays, it's insane. There's just too many drugs and doesn't seem like any of the politicians are handling it right. A May 2023 analysis by U.S. News & World Report rated Delaware the 33rd state when it comes to crime and corrections. While in the northern part of the state, the crime rate has gone down in nearly every key metric in Matt Meyer's time as Newcastle County Executive. I don't think it's fair to say it's a coincidence because other places around the country it's rising. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a few things. N n number one is housing. You find it, it, when you provide people housing and stability, so when people have jobs, when they have housing, when they have stability, you're going to see less crime. Emphasizing the recent gun regulation that was signed into state law in 2023, that is a priority for Hall Long. A lot of new policies in the state, a lot of restrictions. Where are you on, on are you in line with what was passed in the General Assembly, what was uh, signed into law by Governor Carney? This is not an infringement on Second Amendment. I was raised on a farm with young men and family hunters. But this is about common sense gun practice and safety. 2023 also saw a big push in Delaware towards electric vehicles and away from those powered by gasoline. Both Democrats are in favor of this policy with slightly different approaches to helping pay for this big change. You want to make sure that those using fossil fuels are paying for the actual cost of those fossil fuels. There's a tremendous cost to the environment into our communities. Whether it's the utilization of federal opportunities and grants for all persons, no matter their zip code, we're gonna have to lean in in Delaware. And to me, it is most important that we have in place the infrastructure and those opportunities before putting a date or a timeline. Bethany Hall Long's campaign announced on this afternoon that amendments to past financial reports are being made following an audit. In the fall of 2023, just after she had announced her candidacy, Hall Long made public that she had hired an auditor to go over her campaign finances. The findings? From 2016 to 2022, she loaned her campaign more than $300,000, improperly reporting the charges as expenditures in earlier filings. We found that, uh, like many people, when they run for office, uh, they raise a certain amount of money and then they have expenses. And we actually had quite a few higher expenses. And so my husband and I, uh, very committed to the service of Delawareans, uh, used our personal credit cards. Look, l like all Delawareans, I expect uh, anyone elected to public office to be open, transparent. It, 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 the reports are there's going to be an audit that's done. We're, you know, like all Delawareans, we look forward to seeing that audit. And for Democrats, the big question is, will that audit even be a consideration when voting? Now, how long still has the endorsement of the current governor, John Carney? And after the details of the audit were released, she secured the endorsements from the Democrat leadership in the state house. And for more on interviews with those candidates that we saw and a sneak peek at other races, you can go to coasttv.com slash decision 2024. And tonight on Coast TV News at 6, we continue our series, Decision 2024 Preview Week, where we feature my interview with retiring Senator Tom Carper. He tells us what inspired him to move to Delaware in the 1970s to begin a career in politics. And we talk about the legacy he hopes to leave behind. That's tonight's installment of Decision 2024 Preview Week on Coast TV News at 6. Looking forward to that. Right now, Delaware State Police investigating a shooting incident in Ellendale. Late Sunday night, troopers were called to a home on Candy Lane following reports of gunfire. Troopers say they found the home had been hit multiple times with numerous shell casings that were recovered at that scene. Police do say that two adults inside the home were not hurt. 
the motive for the shooting still unknown and no suspects have been identified. Well, there's an update to a crash we brought to you yesterday. We've got some pictures of this crash. It happened on Del Mar on Connolly Mill Road just before 2 p.m. Sunday. Del Mar police say a person was trapped inside the car on your screen. You can see the damage to the windshield and how that car hit a tree. Police say the person was removed by the roof lap in about 10 minutes. A new 70,000 square foot building for the Food Bank of Delaware now open in Milford. The completion of this project comes after about three years of fundraising and construction. The new facility allows for one central location for volunteers to gather and distribute food, store donations, and teach others how to cook safely. All on-site cafes will give students an additional opportunity to grow in the culinary industry. The Milford Food Bank now taking applications for the next culinary class that begins January 29th. Well, breaking overnight, the Eagles were put out of their misery in Tampa Bay with a 32-9 loss in the wild card round of the NFL playoffs. Baker Mayfield torched the Birds' defense by throwing for 337 yards and three touchdowns. Now, including the regular season, the Eagles finished the campaign with six losses in their last seven games. Big question now. Is head coach Nick Sirianni's job safe? We'll have more on the Eagles playoff loss later on Coast TV News Today. You can come to the Commanders. We're hiring. All right, well, we're just getting started this hour, Matt. Yeah, coming up, finding fun or funding fun. We'll tell you how Berlin is trying to fund its new your youth sports complex and how much it could cost. Also, Boeing taking some steps to becoming more transparent amid their planes still being grounded by the FAA. We're telling you how they are now sharing information with airlines. And with artificial intelligence becoming more popular, Delaware Senator Tom Carper pledging his support will tell you why he says this can be beneficial to government agencies. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. It's been a tough year, but we couldn't be more thankful. With your help, we've raised more than $300,000 for Bless Our Children. Hi, I'm Elisa Titus with Shell Brothers, and we would like to give an extra special thank you to all the businesses, groups, organizations, and individuals who stepped up to the Shell Brothers Challenge and donated $1,000 or more to the Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. Your generosity allowed us to give holiday funds to local charitable organizations on Delmarva. You can feel proud that you helped make the season brighter for many local families on Delmarva. On behalf of Draper Media and Shell Brothers, a heartfelt thank you to you all. Bless Our Children is administered by the Draper Holdings Charitable Foundation. Delmarva's Classic Rock, Big 1077. Unspeakable family fun. Here's your time to shine. Go ahead. But wait. We're not playing charades. Or are we? I hope that's not our next puzzle. Playing charades. You just set me up. <laughs> Tuesday at 7 on Coach TV. Past champions return to Jeopardy! Champions Wildcard. All of them hoping to become our single winner and punch their ticket right into the Tournament of Champions. What will it all come down to? How bold do you want to be? Tuesday at 7.30 on Coast TV. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Just about 514 on this Tuesday morning, cold rain falling. Spicer Brothers, Cameron Salisbury, you can see the rain on the lens, but it's plain rain because it's 34. But you can see the snow on the roof there and the buildings in the distance. So we've got the cold rain basically along and south of Highway 9, Georgetown, Frankfurt, Lewis, Long Neck, Salisbury, Willards. But to the north and west outline from Vienna, Seaford, and Milford, it's freezing rain. So we could be looking at ice on the roads, glazed ice, all right? Be careful out there. Interior parts of Sussex County while it's just plain rain farther to the east and south and behind this it's Arctic air that will be building in. You can see the 40s along the coast trying to push that warmer air inland but Seaford back through Greenwood and Milford you're still at or below freezing so use extra caution there very slick conditions otherwise off to school for the kiddos closer to the coast 35 with the cold rain then coming home blustery with falling temperatures maybe even a snowflake and still some raindrops and falling temperatures and 36. 
As the use of artificial intelligence becomes more popular, Delaware Senator Tom Carper is advocating for it to be used more and more by government agencies. Carper says AI has the potential to be a tool to increase efficiency, effectiveness, and accessibility for agencies like the IRS. And Carper hopes that with the implementation of AI, people will have more confidence with government agencies. We're early in, in this. A lot of people are just learning to spell AI. But uh, we'll, uh, there's going to be a lot of continued debate uh, in the weeks, once ahead, to make sure that we get this right. Uh, and we'll learn from, uh, we'll maybe do some things wrong, we'll learn from other countries, they'll learn from us. At the end of the day, let's uh, hope for the, the best and work hard to ensure that we achieve it. In October, President Biden issued an executive order to establish new standards for AI safety and security while standing up for consumers and workers. Boeing is becoming more transparent as it begins preliminary inspections on its 737 MAX 9 airplanes. Now alongside additional quality control inspections of the 737 production line, Boeing will allow airlines into its factories and those of the contractor that build the MAX 9 fuelage. Now this comes after the Federal Aviation Administration grounded the MAX 9 planes after a plug door blew out mid-flight. Federal court has given Apple approval to change a function in its smartwatches so the company can overcome an import ban. The fix would remove a feature that measures the oxygen concentration in the bloodstream. Regulators previously ruled several newer models of the Apple Watch violated patents by technology company Massimo. We're seeing temperatures slowly creeping above freezing this morning, but at freezing in Milford on the Bay Health Cam, watch for some slick roads here. We're going to see a brief meltdown or at least melting conditions, but then we're looking at a blast of Arctic air headed our way later today, tonight on into tomorrow. Very cold and we've got another one for the weekend. I'll tell you how low we go coming up after the break. Get your cowboy boots and your rhinestones ready, Tampail. Welcome to Las Vegas. One of the greatest Vegas residencies of our time, Miranda Lambert. <laughs> the most decorated artist in ACM history is giving the Tam Fam an exclusive backstage pass. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm with Miranda Lambert and we're acting up. Next, Tamron Hall. Tuesday at 3 on Coast TV. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. Welcome to the ride home on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. First rule of the ride home, we definitely talk about the ride home. In fact, tell all your friends. Second rule of the ride home, we have fun. Top 10 Tuesday, Would You Rather Wednesday, and every day, you pick the songs on the high five. And the third rule of the ride home, we don't take ourselves too seriously. You've got enough to stress about. So let me handle the ride home weekdays from 3 to 7 on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com or download the DSN app. Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. Coast TV and the First Alert Weather Team, your safety, our commitment. All right, it's 5.19 a.m. as we check in live at Dover. And, Bob, we are making our way out of some snow that we experienced late afternoon, early evening on Tuesday, on Monday, I should say. Yes. yes, we are down here in this part of Delaware, but up there in Dover, Matt, uh, they're still looking at temperatures below freezing and still glazed in a little bit up there. So be careful north of Highway 9 as we go through the morning hours still below freezing. Make sure you scan the QR code right there. That gets you to the Coast TV weather app. Important habit. 
have that on days like today where we have a winter weather advisory until 8 a.m. Now along the coast, you're in good shape. You're looking at temperatures in the 40s, but it's interior Sussex County where we have the cold roads and especially north and west Seaford north of Highway 9. That's where we have the potential for very icy roads this morning. So be careful out there. Give it another couple of hours, then we'll rise above freezing. Five day temperature trend. We do get up to 41 later this morning, I believe, before we take the plunge. And then Wednesday, a high of only 30 degrees. That's with full sunshine. Very cold, but then we bounce back to 42 on Thursday. That's still below average, 38 Friday, and then really cold into the weekend. 29 Saturday. I think that's the last batch of really cold air before we start to warm up. But let's look at our clouds and radar right now. We're starting to see that warm air starting to build inland. So we have the rain ice line from, say, uh, Mardella Springs to Seaford to Ellendale and then near Milford. South and east of that line is it's just a cold rain to the north and west. Probably some sleet and freezing rain from Denton to Bridgeville, Harrington and Milford and Seaford. But then you get into Georgetown, Milton, Prime Hook Beach towards Lewis and Ocean View, towards Millsboro, Salisbury, Pittsville, Liberty Town. That's just plain rain. But the farther west you go, the more we get into the icy precipitation, even snow up into Jersey and New York. So this whole mess is still moving through the next few hours. And behind it, it is icy Arctic air that will be building in as we go through time. So let's walk you through it on Futurecast. Still some scattered showers this morning. You can see how temperatures rise into the 40s, but that's short lived because by the afternoon, here come those strong northwest winds. By three o'clock, we're looking at temperatures in the lower 30s. We do gradually start to clear it out this evening, upper 20s. And then by midnight, actual temperatures in the low 20s. And by tomorrow morning, this is not wind chill. This is actual temperature, 17 Millsboro, 17 Milton, 18 in Bethany Beach, very cold and struggling to get up to near 30 by tomorrow afternoon, despite full sunshine. Feels like temperatures by this evening, low 20s. And look at this shortly after midnight, feeling like 10 to 12 degrees. And then by 630, feeling like six in Millsboro, seven in Del Mar, six in Fenwick Island. You get the picture, dangerous cold as we go into Wednesday morning. And even by the afternoon, still feeling like teens into Wednesday. Wednesday night. We could see another round of rain and mainly snow as we go Friday into Saturday as this very active pattern continues. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, 41 earlier today and then falling temperatures. Wednesday, 30 degrees, 42 Thursday. Another chance of mainly snow on Friday, maybe some rain, 38. Very cold for the weekend. 29 Saturday, 33 Sunday, beginning a warm up on Monday. Rick Price from Easton, Maryland is our umbrella winner. Congratulations, Rick, on your brand new umbrella from Paul Davis and Coast TV. We're thrilled to announce that Coast TV has a brand new Facebook page. Before I tell you more, just open up your camera app for the latest in news, exclusive content, and interactive discussions. Just visit and follow our new Facebook page. Head over to facebook.com slash Coast TV NBC or I told you to open up your camera app. All right, you can scan it now. That QR code, that's on your screen. Stay connected with us. All right, well, happening today in Dewey Beach, a look at how to improve the appearance of the town. Beautification, that is a topic for the marketing committee. Could possibly vote to recommend a Dewey in Bloom project to town commissioners as part of this effort. This meeting will be held at the Dewey Beach Life Saving Station at 5.30 p.m. Have you ever thought about becoming a foster parent? And maybe it's just crossed your mind. Well, happening today, foster care coordinators for the Delaware Division of Family Services will be holding a virtual information session. That's from 6 to 9 for families who are interested in becoming foster parents in Sussex and Kent counties. You can register for the event on the state website. Well, I'm next on Coast TV News Today, funding sports fun. How Berlin is trying to gain money for its proposed sports complex. Don't go anywhere. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Delmarva's Classic Rock, Big 107.7. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV. 
Today at 4 on Coast Life. Pondering a career in real estate? Get the scoop on getting licensed and key tips to succeed in the industry. Plus, a must-see drama that challenges and captivates from Possum Point players. Coast Life Today at 4 on Coast TV. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slim Mint, an ultra-thin RFID-blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slim Mint uses the latest RFID-blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slim Mint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. Get your cowboy boots and your rhinestones ready, Tampail. Welcome to Las Vegas. One of the greatest Vegas residencies of our time, Miranda Lambert. Woo! <laughs> the most decorated artist in ACM history is giving the Tam Fam an exclusive backstage pass. Look at this. <laughs> I'm with Miranda Lambert and we're acting up. Next, Tamron Hall. Tuesday at 3 on Coast TV. Take your favorite radio station with you wherever you go. Download free today. A long-discussed sports complex in Berlin back on the table. Mayor Zach Tindall sending a letter to the Mayor, Maryland Department of Budget and Management requesting $1.2 million in state funding. That money would be used to perform a site assessment and start the preliminary design of a youth sports complex. If this is approved, the sports complex would include 8 to 10 tournament quality multi-purpose fields, jogging trails, a playground, and restrooms. All right, we bring back first look at your all, just Bob Trahe and Bob, I guess we're going to still deal with some wet conditions on our beaches. Yes. It's wet, not white or not icy either, Matt. So we're looking at temperatures warmer already in the 40s right now. And we've got 40s this morning for Fenwick Island and into Ocean City. It's a cold rain on and off. And then we'll see that blast of Arctic air by this evening. So by 5 p.m. mid 30s, I think we'll start to see the clouds decreasing. Lewis and Rehoboth, kind of a cold rain as we go through the day, but then ending as we go to the afternoon and then that much colder air moves in around five o'clock. We've got a couple of bouts of Arctic air on the way and another chance of some snow by the end of the week as old man winter is locked in. I'll have much more coming up in just a little bit. Come out for the Delmarva Shorebirds Hot Stove Banquet, Thursday, February 8th at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. Get your tickets today, which include a buffet-style dinner and your opportunity to meet former Orioles pitcher Ben McDonald. Plus, there will be a cash bar and silent auction with sports memorabilia from your favorite MLB and minor league teams. Proceeds benefit the Shorebirds Fly Together Fund. Tickets available now at theshorebirds.com. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group, unspeakable family fun. Here's your time to shine. Go ahead. But wait. We're not playing charades. Or are we? I hope that's not our next puzzle. Playing charades. You just set me up. <laughs> Tuesday at 7 on Coach TV. 
past champions return to Jeopardy! Champions wildcard. All of them hoping to become our single winner and punch their ticket right into the Tournament of Champions. What will it all come down to? How bold do you want to be? Tuesday at 7.30 on Coast TV. This is Coast TV News Today. And we're checking out the road situation in Fenwick Island this morning. Let's take a look there. Hey, it's dark. Not, oh, man, the light's not. There we there go. There we go. Oh. Iris, you know, it's the thing calling the biz uh, Iris. So we Irish up. Roads are wet, but not a lot of activity there. All right. Oh. It's just not cooperating with us, Paige. Anyway, it's January 16th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, sir. This is the most fun I've had all morning is watching that Fenwick camera. I'm Paige Marley. Good yeah. morning, everyone. Well, she is. <laughs> She's someone I can rely on. It's 5.30 a.m. And the main roads, we look there. They look okay. But, Paige, yeah. you were on the back roads, some yeah. of the back roads in Sussex County. So what did you see on your drive into work? Well, thankfully that the roads didn't have a lot of snow on them. Mm -hmm. So shout out to whoever puts that salt and brine out. We love you. But it just kind of made room for, like, those potholes that we have, yeah. you know, those bumps in the road. So those were filled with water. So minor flooding on the road. So just, just be very careful. All right. Yeah. Look out for that as you head. It, it worked today, or I don't think a lot of people are in school today, though. Uh, I'm some not closures. Sure about that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, just check the crawl. I think we have something on your screen. I, did, I was told some Maryland schools. I don't know if that's on Del Marva, so make sure you check in with that. We'll bring in First Alert meteorologist Bob Trahi now, though, to help you prepare when you head out the door today. Hey, Bob. Hey, good morning, guys, and a shout out to the road crews. From what I saw, the roads look great. You know, they're, they're salted and uh, they put the brine down yesterday, so good job for those folks. We are looking at just plain rain now moving into much of Delaware, but interior Sussex County, we're still looking at some freezing rain, freezing drizzle. Seaford back through Milford, eastern shore of Maryland. Here we have temperatures below freezing, so watch for slick roads. Anywhere south and east of that line, it's rain along and south of Highway 9 to Frankfurt. Willard's Ocean Pines Golf Club Shores and then farther south. So warm air is starting to overtake the system a little bit, but farther west, it's ice and snow back into much of the northeast. And behind this system, it is a big chunk of cold air. Winter weather advisory. This is for Kent County until 8 a.m. For much of us, the roads are just wet, but you wet as you go farther in north and west of Highway 9. That is where we're seeing those temperatures that are at or below freezing right now, but 40s along the coast. And as we go through the morning, we'll see temperatures rising into the 40s with a few scattered showers. And then it gets really blustery and cold as we go into the afternoon. Runners, well, might want to delay it a little bit. Lots of clouds, but temperatures in the 40s and some rain as we go in through the morning into the noon hour. Breaking news overnight. Polls predicted former President Trump would win big in Iowa. And he did. In fact, he dominated the Iowa caucuses. But there were surprises in the race as well. And one candidate ended his bid for the White House. He did. Now the focus shifts to New Hampshire. NBC's Alice Barr shows us what the next step is now that this first milestone is over. The first win of the 2024 presidential race is on the board. And it's a big one. Former President Trump projected to carry Iowa with more than 50 percent of the vote. We want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. The former president clearly looking ahead to the general election, offering his Republican rivals rare compliments and promising unity. Whether it's Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative, it would be so nice if we could come together. While at the same time slamming President Biden. He is the worst president that we've had in the history of our country. No clear Trump alternative emerges from Iowa. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis outperformed the latest polls to pull out a distant second place finish after betting big on Iowa pouring in time and money here. We've got our ticket punched out of Iowa. Former U.N. Ambassador and South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley finished closely behind DeSantis and she'll have the advantage heading into New Hampshire, where she's built up strong support. Our campaign is the last best hope of stopping the Trump-Biden nightmare. Entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy dropping out of the race after finishing fourth and endorsing former President Trump. A narrowing road to the White House with election season officially underway. In Des Moines, Iowa, Alice Barr, NBC News.
here's some food for thought for you now. Imagine a world where people not only have the food they need to survive, also they know how to prepare and even make money from that food. Well, that is the vision of the Food Bank of Delaware. That's what they had in mind, spending the last three years building their new Milford branch. And Coast TV's Tori Seagrave shows us the new facility is more than just a larger building in which to operate. The ribbon is cut and the food is spread as Milford celebrates going from this rather small facility to this 70,000 square foot building. Volunteers like Sarah Biondello say this new building will help them to help others more efficiently. It's, it's going to be great, not only the size, but before we were in two different buildings. So the warehouse and the volunteer room and the offices were in one building and then the pantry, which is what this is, was in a separate building. And so now we're connected and for, for volunteers it's going to be great because if we're here and they may need more help over there, we can just go over there or we can kind of run back and forth. What makes this new facility different from the old one are the expansion of culinary classes, a cafe ran by graduates, a logistics training program, and a pantry that acts as a grocery store so people in need of donations can choose what items they want with more independence. CEO and president of the Food Bank of Delaware, Kathy Konefsky, says today one in nine Delawareans do not have enough food to eat. We are doing whatever we can to help put food on people's tables, whether that means putting it in backpacks, putting it in their cars if they're coming to us. Um, but almost, almost equally important is helping people get uh, footing and get themselves on a track to help them sustain their livelihood. Applications are being accepted for the first culinary class in the new building. That begins on January 29th. Cafe here at the new facility is open for breakfast and lunch, where you can get a first-hand taste of what all is being taught at this new facility. I'm Tori Seagraves in Milford, Coast TV News. Well, some big repairs needed for the Salvation Army in Salisbury. This, after a car crashed into its building. Take a look at this. This was the scene at the Salvation Army on East Vine Street Monday. You can see here the car that crashed into the window. Officials have not yet said if anyone was hurt or what caused that crash. A significant stride in Maryland's Green Initiative, Governor Wes Moore saying a $15 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation will fund the installation of 58 new electric vehicle charging stations across Maryland. These stations will provide fair climate action and they'll be placed in various locations, including in underserved communities. Maryland General Assembly's annual 90-day legislative session is underway, and some notable policy initiatives on the agenda include a bipartisan public safety crime package, as well as a proposed addition to the Juvenile Interrogation Act of 2022. There's also concerns related to higher utility costs for consumers with sustainability and renewable energy measures taking effect. General Assembly opened last Wednesday, and the Maryland Senate introduced 343 bills for consideration over the first week alone. It's been 15 years since the so-called miracle on the Hudson happened in New York. U.S. Airways Flight 1549 left New York headed to North Carolina when the plane struck a flock of Canada geese shortly after takeoff. Now unable to reach any nearby airport, the pilot glided the plane into the Hudson River just off the shore of Midtown Manhattan. All 155 people on board survived the landing and they were rescued by nearby boats and emergency personnel. 100 people were injured, five of them seriously, but nobody died. Well, we got more news to get to. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, Community Climate Impact, how you can join others in Dewey Beach and protecting the environment there. And also the end of the line for the Eagles, the second half season of misery concludes in Tampa Bay. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. It has the motor and blades built right into the lid, so blend a shake at the gym, make pina coladas by poolside, or grind coffee beans for an iced cold brew on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 with free shipping. You'll also get two sipping lids, a second container, and the sports lid. Get it all for just $29.99. Order now. 
turn your home into a masterpiece with artwork painting. Local professional painters at an affordable price. Artwork painting did an excellent job with our house. We were really happy with all of the pieces of work they did, uh, the drywall work, the walls, the trim. I would definitely recommend artwork painting for your house. Artwork painting treats our customers and their homes with care, delivering quality work and experiences. Call Artwork Painting now for a free same-day estimate. Artwork Painting, keeping Southern Delaware beautiful inside and out. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Delmarva Home Show. Explore the hidden house gems here on the peninsula. Exciting tours of stunning homes, charming cottages, and luxurious beachfront properties. Designer ideas and insider tips to help inspire your home decor. Discover the best of Delmarva's architecture and interior design. A showcase of the most unique and beautiful homes on Delmarva. Start your tour Sunday mornings at 11.30 on WBOC. 540 on this Tuesday morning as we're slowly melting the snow we had last night. Nothing along the coast right now. 45 at Ocean City, so plenty warm to melt. And we're looking at those melting temperatures uh, moving inland, that 32-degree line right around Seaford up through Milford, north and west of that. You see that pink that's probably freezing drizzle, and roads could be very slick right now. Otherwise, along and south of Highway 9, it's mainly rain. You can see that pink to the north and west. Use extra caution there. Rain, Georgetown, Lewis, back through Ocean View and back into Maryland as well as we've got this continuing to press through. We're below freezing interior Sussex County, but the closer you move to the coast, we're seeing those temperatures in the 40s. So use extra caution this morning if you have to travel. Delay it if you can by a couple of hours. Patchy rain this morning. Give it the yellow light and watch for isolated slick spots this evening as temperatures plunge below freezing. Will do, Bob. Thank you. In Lewis, a bizarre discovery has led to an arrest. Police say 57-year-old John Wanner was living illegally in a second home near Love Creek off Route 24. Troopers say homeowners saw signs that Wanner was living in their unoccupied home, like food and a TV was left on. They say that Wanner ran away, leaving behind, get this, three cats and three dogs, but he was soon then arrested in a nearby woods. He faces charges now, including second-degree burglary and resisting arrest. In Delaware, general firearm hunting season is now open as season runs through January 21st. The state says archery and crossbow season has been extended to January 31st and muzzle loader season that starts on the 22nd to the 28th. And a reminder to all Redden State Forest visitors, including hikers and cyclists, to stay safe and also, there's some key here, wear bright clothing. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studio. Yes, it's all up to the Ravens for your local favorites in the NFL. The Eagles fell short last night to the Buccaneers 32-9. Tampa took a 16-9 lead in the half and dominated from there. The Buccaneers beat the Birds for the second time in three years in the playoffs. David Moore, Chris Godwin, and Trey Palmer all scored for the Bucs. Dallas Goddard had the lone touchdown for Philly. The Eagles finished the season 1-6 and six in the last seven games, while the Bucs headed Detroit to face the Lions in the NFC Divisional. Some good football news today. The Commanders will officially introduce Adam Peters as their new GM. The NFL exec last worked in the 49ers front office and now has been handpicked by Josh Harris to rebuild Washington to prominence. Peters' press conference is set for 2 p.m. this afternoon. And tonight, a huge tilt in Delaware boys basketball. Vince Evans and Seifert host Lake Forest. Both teams are tied atop the Henlopen South at 8-0. The Blue Jays are coming off a 20-point win over Woodbridge, where sophomore Vince Evans III led the way with 31 points. Lake is off to its best start under fifth-year head coach Ridge Betts. The Spartans are searching for their first win over Seifert since 2020. Tip-off tonight is scheduled for 5:15. Our coverage on DSN begins at 5:10. That's it for sports this morning. Have a great day, everybody. Monday's primetime Emmy Awards were, of course, 
last year's Emmys. So this show was pushed back from September 2023 due to the writers and actors strikes. But here's a look at the big winners and the memorable moments at the 75th Emmy Awards. You know who I want to thank? I want to thank me. <laughs> for believing in me and doing what they said I could not do. After a four-month delay, Emmy winners were ready to celebrate. From the effusive Niecy Nash Betts to Paul Walter Hauser, who read an acceptance rap while chewing gum. Thank you to the voters in the TV Academy. Thank you, Mom and Dad. You nurtured what I had in me. Dennis Lehane, Taryn Edgerton, their talent can move boulders. If I look tall, it's because I'm standing on both of their shoulders. We have released into the wild hundreds of drag queens. Some winners were familiar. RuPaul's Drag Race won outstanding reality competition for the fifth time. Last week tonight with John Oliver had won Variety Talk Series seven years running. This year, the Emmys moved the show to scripted Variety Series, and it won that and its eighth straight writing award. Beef. Three shows dominated the night. Beef owned limited or anthology series, taking five Emmys, the category's top prize and writing and directing awards for Lee Sun Jin, plus lead acting awards for Ali Wong and Stephen Yun. Judgment and, um, and shame is a lonely place, but compassion and grace is where we can all meet. The Bear! The, bear! the Bear did beef one better with six Emmys on the night, including outstanding comedy series and acting awards for Jeremy Allen White, Eben Moss Backrack, and Iowa Debery, who, like many winners, thanked her family. Probably not like a dream to emigrate to this country and have your child be like, I want to do improv, but um, you're real ones. And the Emmy goes to succession. Not to be outdone, Succession also won six Emmys. Acting honors for Kieran Culkin, Sarah Snook, and Matthew McFadden, writing and directing Emmys, and outstanding drama series for the show's final season. Listen, we are so honored. We've loved making this show. Um, thank you very much indeed. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Our weather not exactly award-winning. We're seeing 35 in Salisbury right now in the Tidal Health Camp. Kind of murky there, but at least we're warming things up. That warmer air is building in temporarily with a blast of Arctic air headed for Del Mar, but later today into tomorrow with another one for the weekend. I'll have the frigid details coming up after the break. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand's story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. Weather shapes our lives. At Coast TV, our first alert weather team is always at work, ensuring you have the information you need. So we're looking forward to begin to make its way towards Fenwick Island pretty quickly here. Because we know how much weather matters to our coastal community. Make sure you take cover from these storms. Our promise is to guide, inform, and protect. Make sure you are remaining weather aware tomorrow. Weather coverage that prioritizes you. Coast TV and the first alert weather team. Your safety, our commitment. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your work day. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your work day is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. 
It's now 548 on your Tuesday morning. We are going to take a live look right now at Ocean City. Bob, this morning when I woke up, it was just the rain was coming down. I wore a raincoat. I wore rain boots. I have them on still. I, maybe it was a little dramatic. I don't think I need all of that this morning. But what do you think? Well, you know, I think it's it's you know, kind of a two-sided coin. It's good that we're seeing just the plain rain as opposed to the frozen precipitation like we saw yesterday. So I don't know if that made sense. But we had the snow and sleet yesterday across much of the coastal area, but now we're looking at just plain rain. Make sure you scan the QR code right there and download the Coast TV weather app. It's a mess right now on our composite rain uh, and clouds and radar. You can see the rain going on uh, basically south and east of a line from Seaford back through Ellendale and then points east, but it's beginning to wind down. The real steady rain is beginning to lighten up, so I think we're just looking at a cold drizzle and some light rain across the coast right now. But in this pink area, I think we're looking at some freezing drizzle. Bridgeville, Blanchard, Harrington, back through Denton and the eastern shore of Maryland still at or below freezing there. Spotty showers, Georgetown, Lewis, Ocean View, Fenwick Island, Newark, uh, back into Maryland. And you see this pink area, eastern shore of Maryland. That is some freezing drizzle. So we've got a hodgepodge of weather across the mid-Atlantic with snow across Pennsylvania into New England and bitter cold air behind this system. So once this system moves through, we're looking at very cold air, but we've got a warm front nearby right now. So that's starting to pull some warmer air in off the Atlantic, but very cold air back to our west. Winter weather advisory until 8 a.m. for Sussex County and surrounding counties, mainly interior areas near Seaford north of Highway 9. That's where you're seeing some slick roads south and east, just wet roads as we're seeing temperatures in the 30s, eventually 40s mid morning, still some spotty drizzle, light rain. Then by noon, winds swing around to the north and west. And by three o'clock, we're back down to near freezing. So any wet spots could freeze again into this evening by 630. We're in the 20s as that Arctic air pours in midnight, lower 20s. And by morning, these are actual temperatures 17 in Millsboro, 18 Delmar, 18 in Selbyville, Dewey Beach at 18 degrees. And we're looking at a lot of sunshine tomorrow, but it's not going to help much because look at these temperatures at noon into the mid 20s and only getting to near 30 in the afternoon. Maybe a lot of us stuck in the 20s and feels like temperatures this evening into the 20s and by well, shortly after midnight, feeling like 10 to 12 degrees and single digits by Wednesday morning. So that's going to be the big story then, the intense cold and feeling like teens for the rest of the day. As we're looking at a break as we go into Thursday and then on Friday into Saturday, we're looking at some, guess what, some snow <laughs> and maybe some rain. Again, Paul Day of a seven-day forecast. 41 today with the rain, 30 on Wednesday, very cold start at 17. A little warmer Thursday with the snow, a little bit of rain on Friday and very cold into the weekend, 29 Saturday and then 33 on Sunday. Then we start a warm up on Monday with 42 in sunshine. Dewey Beach wants to get the community involved in its fight against climate change. The town's climate change committee is actively seeking new members, homeowners, property owners and business owners passionate about protecting Dewey Beach. They're all encouraged to join. The committee plays a crucial role in developing strategies for resilience to rising sea levels and climate change impacts. We'll give you less than 24 hours left to apply for the open position on the Dagsboro Planning and Zoning Commission. The applications must be received at the town hall no later than 4.30 p.m. And the town says those applying must live or be a property owner in Dagsboro for at least three years. Coming up on Coast TV News today, this man survived days without any lungs. We'll show you how surgeons used breast implants to help save his life.